Healthcare providers report the biggest outbreak of measles they've seen in more than a decade. Doctors diagnosed 152 cases so far this year. And as Naja Sherman reports, experts met in Overland Park this afternoon to debunk the most common vaccine myths. In this room full of healthcare providers, a survivor of a vaccine preventable disease shared her life changing story. In 2007, I woke up with what I thought was a typical flu. And it wasn't a flu, it was um, a very deadly bacterial illness called um, meningococcal meningitis. Pivovar's family rushed her to the emergency room where doctors delivered horrible news. I was given a 2% chance to survive. And I had a very significantly um, high risk for disabilities such as blindness, deafness. Maggie Pivovar lived, but doctors amputated her legs. They told her the illness she suffered was 100% preventable if she vaccinated herself against it. I never knew that I needed to get this vaccine. I didn't know that this vaccine could save my life. Over the last few years, doctors have seen outbreaks of many vaccine preventable diseases. Although overall vaccine coverage remains high, a report released this week says 40% of parents deliberately skip or delay a shot for their children. Doctors say that's a dangerous gamble. But some parents have chosen not to immunize their children and because those children are not immunized, they're at risk of some of the diseases that we've been immunizing against for years. Healthcare providers say vaccines are safe and protect your children's future. Naja Sherman, NBC Action News. A report this week from USA Today points to nearly two dozen studies showing no link between vaccines and autism.